and forecast for the weekend. Looks great. It yeah. looks really good. I mean, it's a lot of sunshine. Now, tomorrow you may be a little bit surprised by what we're looking at with the cooler temperatures. That's going to be a little bit of a shock to the system. But by the time we get into Sunday, things will improve. So take a look here. I'll start with the whole weekend forecast, and I'm not really giving the whole thing away just yet because the devil is in the details here. 73 for tomorrow. Now, that may sound pleasant, but right along the lakefront, because of those northeast winds, it is going to be much cooler. You're probably going to stay in the 60s for most of the day before we can finally shift those winds around to the south and warm up for your Father's Day. Keep in mind, we're also going to keep the temperatures overnight on the cooler side both nights. So 58 for tonight. That's going to be a bit of a blustery start for tomorrow morning because we will have those north or northeast winds right off of the lake. And then the temperatures going from the 50s, maybe to near 60 uh, starting the morning to try and warm things up. The problem is the lake temperatures are into the 60s. So when the wind is coming right off of the lake, you're going to feel this. You're going to feel these 60 degree temperatures, even 50 degree temperatures farther to the north. The eastern rim of the lake is a little bit warmer thanks to the last week or so, but it's still chilly. It's early summer and the lake is typically cooler this time of year. There's the northeast winds. You get the sunshine, so this is going to look fantastic, but you're probably going to stay in the 60s for most of the day. And if you're farther away from the lake, you should be able to get up to the 70s. Here's what it'll look like. Watch as the temperatures start out in the 60s and 50s for early Saturday morning and then by Saturday afternoon, cooler along the lakefront, stuck in the 60s, even into the afternoon. But once you get away from that, you should be able to make it to almost 80, a little bit farther inland. And then once you're farther away from any influence of the lake, I think 80 is going to be a pretty good number here. So when you look at our high temperatures for tomorrow, 60s, 70s, and 80s, quite a spread across the area. And the, really the determining factor is how close are you to the lake? If you're right up against the lake, you're going to stay on the chilly side for tomorrow. By the way, the uh, pollen forecast looking pretty good. The next few days are pretty quiet, but I think after we get through about Tuesday or Wednesday, things will start to uh, begin to warm up again. The winds will start to pick up out of the south. Pollen will start to creep back up and look at your temperatures for Monday and Tuesday. They're up into the 90s. The good news is there may be a little bit of a lag, a little bit of a delay in how quickly the humidity returns. For your Father's Day, by the way, you are going to start out with temperatures into the 50s. You'll go to the 70s once we get into the afternoon. I did make one adjustment here. I cleared out the skies a little bit in the morning so that by the afternoon we have a few more clouds. I do think you'll see more sunshine in the early part of the day for dad. Humidity, it will come back on Tuesday. I think that's the day where we could see some of these heat index values get up into the upper 90s, maybe even triple digits. We don't bring the rain chances back in until middle to late part of next week. Thanks, Rob. Yeah.